and 11 members of our community were taken from us too soon on October 27, 2018. And though they are not with us, their legacies are. Anchor Jennifer Tomasik is shining a light on several of them this week. And Lisa, tonight she's showing us how friends of 35 years helped save dozens of lives and how that continues in their name to this day. Daniel Stein. He always had a pirate's hat on. Was just very outgoing and made friends with anyone who he came in contact with. He always enjoyed volunteering, and as he got older, his love for volunteering grew. And that's the part of Daniel's story that his children, Joseph and Lee, say continues on even after death. We experience the worst tragedy possible. October 27th, 2018. The world definitely lost 11 very special people. Their dad, Daniel, was among the 11 people killed at the Tree of Life Synagogue shooting. He was a devoted member of the New Light Congregation, worshiping there that Saturday morning. It's definitely a tough situation because it's just the unthinkable, but um, people have been very, very, very supportive. And not just the community, but the entire world pretty much has been outstanding. It's part of what has helped Lee and Joseph on their journey and part of what motivates them to repay that kindness in honor of their father. He just loved to give back. He loved baseball. So blood drives at PNC Park became Daniel's thing later in life. He and his friend of 35 years, Irv Younger, another member who was killed at the synagogue, made a day out of helping Vitalent talent by giving blood and watching the Pirates. They became known as Dan and Irv by the folks at Vitalent, talent and they're remembered fondly. Out of all those donors, Dan and Irv really stood out because of their ebullient personalities, because of their open hearts, because they really were powerful role models for blood donation. Kristen Lane, communications manager at Vitalent, says Irv donated blood 20 times and Dan donated blood 30 times. Each donation saves three lives, so the men potentially saved 150 people so amazing and so impressive and as I mentioned I didn't realize that he had donated that many times so I'm just like wow. So since their dad's untimely passing Lee and Joseph along with other families connected with the Tree of Life tragedy have helped with blood drives in the area. It's amazing to see the amount of friends family and strangers that come out just because they have it in them as well, just like my dad, to do something special and to give of themselves and give back to strangers. Uh, it's definitely passed down to uh, me and my sister, and which I plan to pass down to, to my son. Henry just turned five and only got to spend seven months with his grandpa, Daniel, before the tragedy at the synagogue. Yeah, we definitely want to teach Henry that the world is built on love and that there are good people in the world. Like Daniel Stein's kids, carrying on their father's legacy. Uh, my dad's always in me and he's always watching over me. Daniel Stive and Irv Younger, living on through their families and the selfless act of donating blood. Jennifer Tomasic, Channel 11 News. It's so nice to focus on not how they died mm. and we were out there that day, but to yeah. focus on how they lived their life, which is a wonderful way to honor them and pay tribute. It is indeed. And the strength of these families, mm -hmm. I have to tell you, I, I run into them from time to time. It's very, very impressive. And there's always a need for blood donors and organizations like Vitalant make it really easy to do. We have a link on our website, WPXI.com. Just look for this story.